Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review. Today I want to talk about some of the news that came out that PS5 might be bringing more, or, or not, that Sony might be bringing more PlayStation games to PC. Now apparently, according to many people, you know, in this current generation that we're in, you know, Xbox is pushing their games more towards multi-platform, more towards PC, as well as Nintendo Switch and, and PlayStation 5, and Sony is also, uh, it seems like Sony is also going down that path where they're going to be putting the majority of PlayStation games on the PC. Now, I watched a video the other day of a grown man who's probably like in his 40s or something. I'm not going to say any names. But I watched this video the other day where this 40-year-old man made a huge deal about this. It was like, oh, PlayStation fanboy is going to be so sad about this this news that came out. And haha, everything's going to PC and PC Master Race. And it's, it's these kind of people who irritate me because they make a huge deal over this now even if uh, all these PlayStation games start to go onto PC I mean I'm not gonna people act like everyone who owns a PS5 is gonna throw it away in the trash and then go get a PC that's really unrealistic you know if we have multiple platforms it actually should be a good thing it should be a good thing to have multiple platforms and at the end of the day it comes down to personal preference right so even if all these PlayStation games are going to end up on PC, even if like the next God of War comes out on PC or whatever, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. You know, some people have made a huge deal about this, saying that, oh, PlayStation um, is going to go the way of Xbox, and they're going to basically do everything Xbox is doing, and, you know, put their games on multiple devices to build the uh, PlayStation ecosystem, kind of like Xbox is doing. And I don't really believe this is like a negative thing entirely or like a bad thing. Now, when you look at generations of the past, there was more of a reason to pick up a PS3 or an Xbox 360 because the 360 and PlayStation 3 had, yes, many exclusive games. Like if you wanted to play Gears of War, you would get an Xbox. If you wanted to play PlayStation, you would, if you wanted to play Killzone, you would get a PlayStation, right? So, you know, with the, with the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 generation, there was more of a reason to either own both consoles or own a sing or own just a single console, depending on your taste in the games. Because you know, Xbox 360 had Gears of War and Halo, the PlayStation 3 had God of War, you had the Killzone trilogy, you had uh, Ratchet and Clank, you had a whole bunch of games on the PlayStation 3, right? But nowadays, looking in the ninth generation, exclusives no longer matter. And we're starting to see like this evolution into just multi-platform and these companies feel from a business perspective that they will make more money putting their games on multiple platforms which it does actually make sense now as a game os as somebody who loves and enjoys playing video games and i love to own a whole bunch of consoles in my collection um i do kind of hate that everything is going multi-platform because again, there's less of a reason to own a Xbox. There's less of a reason to own a PlayStation. If all these PlayStation games go to PC, if you already own a PC, then there's not really a big reason to buy a PS5. Same with Xbox. If you already own a platform that plays Xbox games, like PC or PlayStation, again, then you don't really need an Xbox. And that's kind of an issue, in my opinion, when it comes to like consoles and the console experience, because... You know, back in the day, you had PlayStation 1 and the Nintendo 64, which were two completely different consoles that had their own games. Same as uh, previous generations before that, like the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, and the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. They had completely different games. But as we go on and go on, um, further, down, further down the future, further into the future, we are starting to see a massive change when it comes to gaming because, you know... These companies are looking to, uh, what do you call it, expand their ecosystem. They're looking to put their games on multiple platforms and they're trying to get people to make a PlayStation account on a different device, Xbox accounts on, on PlayStation and PC. And that's kind of just the way gaming is nowadays. And you either accept that that's the way gaming is or you just, I guess, you know, choose not to. But, you know, it, it's... It's a good thing in some aspects, but it's also a bad thing. Because then there's less reasons to own the console. Um, but it's good that we have multiple options on the market. So, 
you know, even though we have the Xbox Series X, a PC, a PS5, I'm happy that people can actually choose the platform they want to play on. You know, it's not like it used to be where you had to be stuck on one platform where you had to buy multiple systems. At least nowadays, you can pretty much own just one console and, you know, call it a day. But, <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, this seems to be the future where we'll, uh, PlayStation will be putting their games on PC. Well, Sony is going to do kind of what Xbox is, has been doing for a while. Where they're going to... I mean, there already is PlayStation games on Steam. I've always seen it happen. Um, I knew this was going to happen eventually. I've made a video... I think in the past I made a video where exclusives no longer really matter. And that's pretty much true. Is You know, exclusives are no longer really a thing. It's kind of like a thing of the past at this point. Because PlayStation is going to start putting their games on PC... Xbox is already putting their games on, you know, multiple platforms to build the ecosystem. And it's like, if these companies don't evolve with the times, then they're just, they're not going to be able to survive, basically. I mean, have you seen how bad the Xbox Series did? The Xbox Series X and S have done worse than the previous generations of Xbox. And, you know... There's only like, I think it was like, what, uh, 25 million people who bought the Xbox Series. And the PS5's at 56 million, I believe, somewhere around there. Um, Nintendo Switch is dominating, because Nintendo, you know, they're perfectly fine. But like, when it comes to, like, this generation, we do see a decrease when it comes to console sales, you know. Um, especially on Xbox. Xbox, you know, they're not getting enough consoles sold. So it does make sense from that perspective that, yes... If we can't get consoles sold, if we can't sell these consoles, we could still make them as an option, but if we can't sell them to enough people around the world or, or wherever the location is, then we're going to have to push for multi-platform so that we can get money off of games on other platforms. So we can make, you know, all these games, a whole bunch of physical copies or digital copies on multiple platforms, and then we can make more money doing that because we can't make money on consoles. This generation has shown that, you know, as, as time has gone on, it seems people, you know, are less eager to actually buy a console. They'll actually, you know, buy a PS5 or Xbox Series. There are still people who are using the PS4. There are still people who are playing on the Xbox One generation, right? The PS4 and Xbox One, they're still being used every single day <laughs> by millions of people. So, you know, that's kind of like the way gaming's going. That's... The way gaming is... I can't talk quickly, apparently. This is just the way... Um, this is the future that gaming is head heading towards. It's already happening. And eventually, it's just going to be basically like your personal preference. It's going to be, well, do you prefer console or do you prefer PC? You know, it's... Or do you prefer a certain design or a certain look? Like, you know, I would go with a PS5 because I love the look of it, the love design of it. I love the controllers I can play on my PS5. So it it could be literally as simple as that one day. Well, it's like, well, what console do you do you like better? What's like the better looking console, right? So some people one day might just buy a console literally based around the looks of it or the design of it or the controllers. It will no longer be about which one has the best exclusive games because you know, at this point it's like it doesn't matter. Everything's going to go multi-platform. But anyway, I'm in the video, so hope everyone enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, comment down below what you think about PlayStation going multi-platform like Xbox is doing. Um, anyway, peace out. Hope you all have a good day or night.